I'm at Sydney International Airport, have just uh, arrived from Adelaide. Flight was a little bit delayed, so we've raced across from the domestic terminal and are now in the uh, calm oasis about to enter the Qantas First Class Lounge. I am flying QF1 in first on a points trip through to, uh, to London Heathrow. Now, this is a very special flight for me. It's um, Qantas First Revisited. Four years ago when I started this channel, this, this flight, QF uh, First Class, was the first review I ever did. Um, so now four years later, I'm trying it again. Uh, Qantas are upgrading all of their A380s and refurbishing their, uh, their first class cabins and putting their new fancy business class onto, uh, into the business class cabins. Unfortunately, this aircraft today hasn't quite had that refurb yet, so it will be going back in time and uh, it'll be the same business class or first class that I flew four years ago. So uh, join me, let's do it together. Let's fly to London. The Qantas First Class Lounge at Sydney Airport has achieved icon status amongst Australian lounges. It's a fantastic lounge with stunning views across the airport. It's also a really cool design. There are plenty of seating options, as well as a bar and a full a la carte restaurant. For me, time was short, so I headed straight to the spa. One of the big advantages and big benefits of the uh, Qantas First Class Lounge here in Sydney is the spa and first class passengers get a uh, 20 minute free treatment. I've gone from a facial. I reckon at my age, I probably need all the help I can get. So uh, let's go and do that. That was wonderful. That was a really nice way to uh, relax and de-stress before a long flight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, let's fly. No, I'll just have the mixed nuts. No problem. Thank you. Cheers. Here's to a great flight. Well, I reckon there's going to be a pretty sensational flight. Cheers. G'day, and welcome to Pontus. For almost 100 years, we've been connecting Aussies with the world and the entire world with the spirit of Australia. Wherever your journey takes you today, arriving safely is our first priority. So pay attention for the next few minutes to learn the features of your Qantas Airbus A380 and we'll show you just how far and wide our spirit runs. My subscriber count is currently tantalizingly close to that magic 100,000 mark. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd really appreciate it if you did, as I've always liked numbers and 100,000 is a nice round one. The first class cabin is located at the front of the lower level of the Qantas A380. It is configured in a 111 layout with a total of 14 seats. The A seats have their own aisle, with the F and K seats sharing the same aisle. This makes the A seats just that little bit more private. For takeoff and landing, the seats face forward. There's even a sash belt to make you feel special. Then, once in the air, you can swivel your seat away from the aisle and towards the window and entertainment screen. This is also when the privacy dividers between the A and F seats go up. Whilst these seats are getting old, they have aged well. They are really comfortable and are well designed for long haul travel. There's overhead locker space, but if you prefer, you can keep your luggage at your feet. There's privacy, but you're not locked away from your fellow passengers. 
The service is professional, but has that warmth of Australian familiarity. The seat functions are operated using this central control tablet. They are easy to use and as soon as we were up in the air, I had a play. Basically everything is adjustable, including the seat tilt. There's even a massage function. In terms of storage, there is a magazine rack next to you, you have some storage available under the ottoman and two special drawers in the side panel. The water bottle holder also proved handy for holding my voice recorder. The tray table is huge, allowing you to dine with your partner. Some other passengers did this and were happy for me to film, so you can see how it looks. The tray table can also be moved backwards and forwards, which means that once the seat rests have been lowered, you can get out of your seat when the table is in use. Once in the air, service started with a drink from the bar. I went with a Glenlivet small batch single malt, which was served with some canapes of caviar tartlet and smoky cherry tomato with anchovy on toast. I show the menus and the wine list in full at the end of the video. With the drink safely consumed, it was time for lunch. Sourdough, please. Oh, actually, no, I'll have to pull apart. Because I both. always have to, or both, yeah. Yeah, let's just do both. As my mother says, and I blame her for having mm. no money, when in doubt, buy both. <laughs> Thank you. I started with the indigenous inspired tasting plate, which was absolutely sensational. The flavours just jumped off the plate. This is South Australian Shiraz at its finest. Would you like to try it first? Sure. We'll give that a go. It's a very nice one. For mains, I went with the beef fillet from Rockpool Bar and Grill, which was served with green beans, mustard, barbecue sauce and mac and cheese. Again, another sensational dish. For dessert, I had my first ever avocado with musket and Maggie beer, burnt fig, honeycomb and caramel ice cream. It may have been my first avocado, but it definitely won't be my last. This was pure indulgence at 35,000 feet. But really, that's what first class is all about. It's an escape, a moment of pure indulgence where you can leave the stresses of the world behind, listen to some good music and eat dessert. After lunch, I went exploring headed upstairs to the lounge. This area hasn't really worked for Qantas and is rather lacking in atmosphere. The new design on the upgraded A380s has fixed this and from all reports, it's much better. Having said that, after I filmed this, I got talking to a couple of passengers from business class and we spent the rest of the flight drinking gin and tonics up in the lounge. I'll therefore show you the bed, the amenities and the entertainment system on the second leg from Singapore to London. One thing I will show you now though is the delicious duck pancakes that were served just before we landed in Singapore. That was a great flight, thank you very much. Thank you, bye bye. Let's go and, uh, thank you, bye bye. Let's go and check out this new first class lounge here at uh, Singapore Airport. I reckon we've got about an hour and then uh, it's back on board on our flight to London. Let's go. The brand new Qantas first class lounge in Singapore only opened a few weeks prior to me taking this flight. It's a very impressive lounge. It's huge and features a full a la carte restaurant, lots of seating options and very friendly staff. Qantas is obviously very proud of their new first class lounge here at uh, Singapore Airport and uh, Jivan is uh, giving me a tour and uh, we're in the shower section and it's a, uh, it's a fascinating feature, have a look at this. Now bear in mind it's about 10.30 at night here in Singapore at the moment. You walk into here and I'm not sure it'll come out on the video but it, it's incredible, it looks like it's daytime. There's the lighting features in here. Obviously the showers look fantastic as well. Look at that shower head. But it, basically your body will be tricked into thinking it's daytime. And uh, at the push of a button here, you can turn it to morning, noon or dusk. And then it will turn into, uh, into evening. 
How good's that? It turns out that I was uh, having a drink, so I haven't got time for a shower, but next time I'm definitely having a shower here. This looks fantastic. Out in the lounge, there's a larger version of the same type of magic skylight that, at the flick of a switch, can turn day into night. So that was the lounge, now uh, let's fly to London. And here we go again. Cheers, it's a great flight. I think I'll be uh, sleeping a bit more on this one. We've left Singapore and uh, that means it's time to sleep, which can only mean one thing, we're in first class. And uh, on, in first class and in business class on Qantas, you get in-flight PJs. So uh, let's put them on and see what, uh, what they look like. This is the new design. So here they are, the new Qantas, uh, new design of the Qantas first class pyjamas. A nice dark grey ensemble with matching slippers. Very, very classy indeed, looking nice. Now regular viewers will know the golden rule. You can wear these in first class, in business class, but uh, don't walk into the rest of the uh, aircraft, especially not economy, because you'll instantly go from uh, being well and truly accepted to instant dickhead. So uh, that's just the way the Australian culture works. The very nice Qantas crew gave me both the male and female versions of the amenities kit. Red for female and blue for male. The contents of both kits are identical. Whilst I was putting on my PJs, the crew very kindly prepared my bed, which comes complete with a thick mattress for extra comfort. Okay, it's time to sleep and try out this uh, Qantas first class or high flat bed. It's wide, it's smooth, it's straight, and uh, I think I'm in for a comfortable sleep, so uh, good night. I was out like a light and slept for about six hours. By the time I awoke, we were just flying over Armenia. It was time for a cup of tea and to check out the entertainment system. I thought the Qantas entertainment system was excellent. It can be controlled using the remote hidden in the armrest. The screen is also touch screen, but it's too far away for you to use. The selections of movies, TV and audio is excellent. There's even a special channel celebrating Qantas's centenary. I ended up watching a brilliant documentary about the Australian football legend Adam Goods. I highly recommend it. Before our arrival into London, I ordered some things from the breakfast menu. First up was an espresso and a detox smoothie. Next was toasted muesli with yogurt. And I finished it up with some hipster food, a breakfast bowl of quinoa and a poached egg. It was delicious. In my opinion, Qantas does comfort food better than any other airline. Soon after this, we started our early morning descent into Heathrow and our journey all the way from Sydney was coming to an end. The A380's tail camera providing a wonderful bird's eye view of our landing. So we've made it to London and that was a really nice flight experience. Of course it's always going to be a good flight if you're sitting in the best seat in the house, uh, first class in an A380. Um, sadly it wasn't one of the refurbished ones, it would have been nice if it was. Uh, at the moment only three of uh, the 12 that Qantas have got in their fleet have been uh, refurbished, so you've got about one in four chance. That said, these seats, I must say, have stood the test of time. I do like them. They've got all the bells and whistles. Uh, there's a really good balance between lots of private space and feeling private, uh, but not being completely locked off from your fellow passengers. Met some really nice people on that flight, so uh, that was, it was very, very enjoyable. 
The Qantas in-flight service, as always, uh, it's, I've experienced at Long Haul International, is excellent and uh, really impressed with the food and the entertainment options as well. So uh, overall, a very, very good flight. Look, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. If you haven't done so yet, do subscribe uh, and check out my channel uh, where you'll find a whole lot of other reviews and more on the way. Now, if you want to see a really cringy one, go back to four years ago, the first uh, video that I did, which was this uh, Qantas first class on the A380. Um, you can uh, look at that one for a laugh. Uh, look, in the meantime, as always, happy travels.